Sometimes an idea can be revolutionary, but needs to be seen to be believed, or at least understood. Sometimes, even being around for years, it takes the attention of, you guessed it, a world's fair to make an idea take hold. And that was the case for this groundbreaking device. In the 1440s, Gutenberg changed the world as the first European to create a movable type printing press. Suddenly, knowledge could be shared far and wide in book form. While Gutenberg's press was truly groundbreaking, it would be several hundred years before the ability to mechanically print came to the common man. In 1867, an American inventor by the name Christopher Scholes was inspired by an article on a British device and decided to refine the design. In 1868, he along with Carlos Glidden and Samuel Soule were awarded the patent for the typewriter, which at first would be known as the Scholes and Glidden typewriter. This machine consisted of many intricate metal parts that needed to be manufactured. And in the 1800s, the consumer product with a lot of tiny metal parts was, well, guns. Scholes struck an agreement with the Remington Arms Company of New York. Remington rose to fame as the supplier of arms to the US government during the Civil War. Following the war, the company was interested in exploring new revenue streams. Soon, the typewriter was commonly known as the Remington typewriter. While the typewriter was impressive, it was one of those inventions you had to see to truly understand the impact. So while Remington at first saw modest success, it was exhibiting the typewriter at the 1876 Centennial Exposition that kicked sales into high gear. 10 million visitors, practically a fifth of the US population at the time, attended the exposition. The typewriter was just one of many products debuting to the wider public at the Centennial. We've covered a few in other videos like root beer and the telephone. Still, the typewriter stood out. An author by the name of Mark Twain attended the Centennial and is widely believed to be the first author to have used a typewriter. A total of 5,000 typewriters were sold in the first four years, but by 1885, 5,000 were being sold every year. And soon that number grew to 20,000 in sales annually. So although the typewriter existed before the centennial, there's no doubt that the exposure at America's first exposition helped change the way America and the world communicated. We've got more inventions to tell you about from the centennial and other world's fairs. So be sure to check out our other videos, and if you like what you see, please subscribe to learn about the inventions, foods, and more that came from world's fairs. Thanks for watching.